All right, y'all, we're out here at the beautiful Brazos River we're gonna put in, and hopefully we get, get on them fish, and I'll have some good footage for y'all. We'll see y'all in the water. All right, y'all, got my full crew. Got my full crew out here. Well, you think Ray's ever gonna make it in the water? Oh, right on. Ray's up there. Waiting on one guy to leave the trailer sometime today. Before you get out, look at that big old, look at that big old buzzard. I'm videoing him. Go get him, Junebug. Go get that go get that buzzer. Go get him. Go get him. <laughs> well, there he goes. Oh, I just had one, Jim. Yep, I just had one. My first, my first, uh, oh, my first good bite. In fact, I just had one that time. Come on, baby. Do that again. Yeah, he pulled hard. Been hung on the moss so many times, I didn't pull. Then it jerked back, tried to jerk pull out of him. Maybe brush on. I got him. I got him. I got a pig too. I got a pig. Just had my net. I told you, the closer you get to camp, the bigger fish you get. Yeah, that's a pig there, Popper. That's that's what we came here for. There he is, baby. I got it on video too. That's a stud. That is a stud, dude. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, we finally got one. Yeah, yeah. Don't drip it on me. Yeah. Right on. Oh, there we go, y'all. Yeah. What? All right, baby brush hog. Baby brush hog. Oh, 
errado. Foi pra ela. Got our first uh, capsize over here, emptying the water out of it. What happened, man? Flipped over. Now he flipped over. What'd you do that for? I was hot. He was hot. So you flipped over on purpose? You got out here and tried to get out and it turned over. <laughs> the set inside so it's kind of hard to get out of. We got Colton on one here. See what he's got. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Got a stringer? Yeah, somewhere. So, which one he's got and then this right here. I know I got so far. Three good ones. To, uh, I think I'm. Uh, I can only have two more, or uh, three more small ones. Two more small ones. You need seven <laughs> more to make ten. I, I'll have to start counting on on uh, Jim's stringer. <laughs> what you think? You think it's that orange glitter that made made the difference? Oh, you're going across? I'm trying to. I gotta get some challenge. Oh, that's it. Something on there, I don't know. 
Huh? We hung up. Couldn't get that off of it. That was my fault. I pushed off that deer. Ah. Should have just let it go. Huh? Yeah, we would have rolled around it if. But. It's alright. It's alright. Everybody's alright. Let's have your stuff. Let's back up. Let's back up. Let's stay in that boat. Get up on the shore. I had all that video. <laughs> Damn it. <sighs> oh, that's all. That was fun. Yeah. Huh? Wasn't it though? Well. <laughs> all right, y'all. We're all safe. Uh, little tip over. We got most of our stuff back, I think. Um, I have a tent. I don't know if we got all the tents, but uh, all right, y'all. Well, we're gonna gather up our stuff and try to get back moving. What is that there? Life jacket? There's the other one. A couple mistakes there. Um, when we drifted up against that log, jam up in the front. Uh, you almost you should grab a hold of things you drift into so you can steady the boat. He took his paddle and he tried to push off of it. When he pushed off of it, he, he tilted the boat and that's what made us turn over. Which is, he's never been in a canoe before. I'm the guide, so it's not really preventing situations because you can't really prevent everything. But it's how you handle it afterwards. Pull the boat to the bank, gather up all our stuff, continue on our trip. Uh, everybody was safe. I had my, my daughter was a little bit too high in the boat. And then he, uh, when he, you should have grabbed a hold of that log so you could steady the boat. And we could have either... We could have went pushed you know slid the boat down the side of it and everything probably would have been fine but uh we live and we learn and we were still able to continue the venture so stay tuned thank y'all hit that like and subscribe for me thank you all right y'all here we are we're in camp we got all set up and got our stuff scattered out to dry out from the turnover uh caught a, caught five bass total uh, we're going to cook those up for y'all for the catch and cook. Here we go. Here's the final result, y'all. We got some good bass fillets there from the day on the Brazos River. So far, that's all we've caught is bass. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put Tony Satries on half of them, and I'm going to put this other uh, fishmonger by Fire and Smoke. Try it out. Can't go wrong with Tony's. That's what we're gonna cook up. When we get it going, we'll let y'all know. For a drone? All right, here we go. Here we have our beautiful bass we scaled and and uh, cut his head off. Here we go, on the fire. Should be good to go. Got a piece on that other, that Piece of fallen parts is the one that for sure done. Which one? Oh, here we go. Right here? No, nah, the other one. But no fucking whatever. I'm not gonna do the video on that. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. I don't want to be Is it good here. or what? Absolutely magnificent. Oh Jim. Mm, thank you. You got a lot. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Okay. <laughs> a little crunchy on the outside, but right? But I like that Tuesday. I don't like it. Tuesday's good, huh? A mm. fishmonger? Mm. Fishmonger. By smoking like fire or something? Mm. Good. Fire okay. and smoke. Yeah. Alright, y'all, here we are. We've been cooking some fish. And uh, we out here on the Brazos River. Beautiful out here, y'all. We've got all our stuff scattered out because we're trying to dry it out because we got wet. But, anywho. See y'all tomorrow. Hopefully we can make it to the last mile and a half without turning over. <laughs> I'll just walk. <laughs> eating, uh, we eating fish. Yeah. Rise this river. Bass that we caught out of the river today. Everybody's got some except this guy. He don't want to eat our fish. <laughs> See y'all tomorrow.
morning here on the Bryce River, y'all. We're gonna we're packing it up. We're gonna head out, head down the river to our out. We're not but about a mile and a half to our out. We went about seven miles or six and a half miles yesterday. And here we go. Let y'all take a look. See. Down here, see, see down river. Maybe we can catch a couple more fish on camera for y'all on the way out. See what happens. Well, this is how we leave banks. No sign of us. All the trash is picked up. There's no sign of people. So that's how you leave a fishing bank, y'all. Well, we are off. Catch y'all on the out. There's our bank that we camped on. No trash. Y'all see us going down the river. Go down the river, spinning each other. So I was trying to sit in the canoe like he did. And when, when I was sitting, the canoe flipped over, and I flipped over, and I flipped over on my head, and then I tried to flip back over on, on, on my legs, and then I flipped back over on my legs, and I started crying because I wanted my raccoon. We were not worried about poor Jumbo. We was worried about a raccoon. Junebug was soaking wet whenever she got out. <laughs> I was not happy. I was not happy. Yeah, I put it on and I'll hug that bank over there and I'll paddle you down and let you fish. One last lunch break. Squish bread sandwich. <laughs> We're uh, heading back, man. It's a beautiful river. Look at that. There you go. There you go. Last little set of rapids here. And then we'll be back at the bank. On the out. Alright y'all, we're out. We're on the out. We uh, finally made it to our, to our ramp here. And uh, we're calling it, calling it a trip, y'all. Success. Other than our little spill. Caught some bass. Ate some bass. Turned over. Camped out overnight. It was a good time, y'all. Hit that like button and subscribe for the next adventure. Appreciate y'all.